Hi everyone, welcome back my jelly beans. So if you are interested in getting this bouncy flexi rod set, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm using is the natural curling jelly from Eden Body Works Coconut Shea line. Now, all the products that I'm using are from their Coconut Shea line. As you guys may or may not know, I am a brand ambassador for them, so they do send me these products. But if you follow me on Instagram, I always put my faves in my highlight because every product I get, I always review it honestly for you all. So the curling jelly is amazing at defining the curls. From what I saw, I will be doing a wash and go routine very soon. Then I will use their leave-in conditioner from the same line. I love this stuff. It really moisturizes my curls just like the Shea Moisture leave-in that I usually use does. So I like this as a cheaper alternative. The last product I'm using is their Natural Curl Defining Cream. Now this stuff, y'all want definition? Really? Really? This will get you that definition. So then I'm just going to section my hair and start applying each product to the section that I'm working on. So I like to start off with the leave-in conditioner and then the curl defining cream and then end with the jelly just so it has that hold for the curling rod. And then I just brush through it with this brush that came in this month's box from Eden and I'll have it linked down below as well as all the other products. Hannah wanted to stick her <laughs> strand of dyed hair into the camera. So yes, I'm just really raking that through. Y'all know I like to rake through my products as if it's lotion, as if you're lotioning your body. That's how I see it because that's how your hair gets it. And a lot of my hair is low porosity, so I got to work it in there anyways. So I'm just going to start by taking the flexi rod. Now I used the gray and the blue. I used the gray in the back and the blue in the front. And I... I'm just gonna place the flexi rod in front of the hair and start wrapping the hair around the end of the flexi rod. And then I wrap the flexi rod up. I continue smoothing down my hair as I wrap it up that same section, as you can see, and then I'm just gonna fold it over. To get this Shirley Temple kind of curl, you want the end of the flexi rod to be straight. Me personally, I feel like it doesn't like necessarily have to be straight it can be kind of bent as you see me do the second one because honey who is sleeping like that it was late at this point I feel like if you are doing it on the same day definitely use a hooded dryer alternating between heat and cool air just to get your curls dry but this was overnight so i had to do something because sleeping on this is not fun at all so if I were to do this same day, I would definitely use a hooded dryer for about one hour. So now I'm finally done. I'm just showing you guys how I place the flexi rods and go into bed. So the next morning, you can see I had an attitude because them things hurt. <laughs> so I'm going to take my peppermint oil and just oil up my hands as I take down the flexi rods. 
I'm sure if you've watched any other Flexi Rot tutorial, they definitely say that this is an important part of the process, the takedown process. And me personally, this is the part that always messes me up. So I made sure to check my hair to make sure that it was dry because honey, if that thing is any type of wet, it's gonna, you're gonna have some type of frizz. I am just taking down all the flexi rods because at this point I'm over it. And towards the middle of my hair, my hair wasn't too dry. So that's why you kind of see a little bit of frizziness, but there was definitely a lot of definition. So I just continued to take it down anyways, cause I didn't have time to sit under the hooded dryer, but the oil definitely helps with the shine and just to keep the definition. As I start to separate the curl, you're gonna see that I add some more oil and just kind of scrunch that into all of the unseparated curls. And then as I start to separate, I just take each section and pull some of the curl out and I curl it with my finger. Now you wanna curl it in the same direction that you wrapped the flexi rod in. Now I know that can be confusing, okay? It confuses me, but I just kind of basically look at the curl that I'm unraveling and go the same way as that curl. If you go the opposite way, it's not that terrible. You're, it's gonna show, and if it unravels as a curl, then that means you went the wrong way. So just, you know, curl it back the other way, you'll be straight. And yeah, I'm just taking it down. So once I'm done with that process, I take my pick and I hold a chunk of the curls and pick out my roots. Now this took a minute because one, my scalp was very tender. It kind of hurt from sleeping on these flexi rods at night. So I couldn't fluff it out as much as I wanted to just cause I don't want to irritate my scalp too much or manipulate, you know, my hair too much. Cause that was a lot, but I just basically fluffed it out with my hands. I picked it out some more until it was to my liking. I didn't want it to be too frizzy cause I was trying to get definition this time. And so I was just trying to figure out if I wanted bangs or a middle part or a side part, and I went with the bangs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. Remember that you can use my code Jillian for 15% off Eden Body Works products. And yeah, all of these products that I use, I absolutely love. I'll be using more of them in the future. So just stay tuned on my Instagram to see which ones I like the best and why i like them and with all that being said stay blessed and stay sweet 